start to finish, it was about eight years of work to write Unstoppable, the Siggy B. Wilzig's astonishing journey from Auschwitz survivor and penniless immigrant to Wall Street legend. It's a long subtitle. Um, the process was, first of all, getting over your own fear. <laughs> You know, write, any, anyone who tells you that writing a book is easy is either lying or never wrote a book. Uh, it's an existential exercise and it can be scary because to imagine, first of all, you're being entrusted with someone's life. So if you take that responsibility seriously, then you're not going to misappropriate it for your own you know, literary purposes. So that's already a challenge right there. Secondly, you have um, different people remembering, remembering different kinds of aspects of this individual. So to one person, he, he was the greatest hero in the world. To another person, he was the loudest screamer to ever walk the earth. To someone else, he was a very charitable man. To someone else, he was um, a fighter, a scrapper. Um, so which person are we going to describe here? So the, the ch that was another part of the challenge was integrating someone with such a varied personality because he was all those things. And uh, a lot of time it was allowing my own impressions to be vetted by people who knew him better. And that meant changing course. You know, the excitement in writing is when you have a little bit of a breakthrough and you think, oh, now I know what my track is. I know where I'm going. And then someone says, wait a minute, that's, that, that's not what he was like. You're inventing something there. And then you, you're faced with this dilemma. Do I stay with this, which feels good, or do I take a, more, a path of greater integrity and come back to the starting point? which is why it took seven years, or eight years. Um, this had to be a story told properly. And thank goodness, his, Siggy's son Ivan and daughter Sherry were there to guide me. They went through every word, every sentence, every paragraph, every page, over and over and over, to make sure that every detail was accurate. That was important not just to depict him properly. But also remember, we're dealing with the Holocaust here. You can't get one thing wrong. If you get one thing wrong, then the entire story is open to criticism from deniers who will say, oh, you see, they got that wrong. The whole thing is suspect. So this is a serious responsibility you know, when you're dealing with the Holocaust to make sure that the details are accurate. So that's a bit of the landscape of the process.